Welcome to Caveman Cooking. I'm your host, Craig Parcells. Today we've got a great recipe for you guys. Bungless bacon burgers. First thing we're going to do, got to get some heat on the pan. Okay, let that heat up. While that's warming up, I'm going to cut this bacon into halves. Alright, and we're going to process this. Because what we're going to be doing with it, once it turns into the ground bacon, we're going to mix it with some ground beef. And that's going to be what our burgers are made out of today. Bacon is a little bit different than ground beef. It's going to look a little slimy because it's just got a huge fat content. But uh, our grass-fed beef is a little bit leaner so that it, once they're mixed up, it's going to look a lot more like the stuff you regularly buy at the supermarket. Let's get this thing out, put it in our mixing bowl, and combine it with the bacon. We're going to also add a couple spices to this uh, recipe. I've got red chili powder. This stuff's a little bit spicy. This regular, you can use regular chili powder as well. Add some garlic powder. Garlic powder and finally paprika. I put uh, probably one part chili powder, one part garlic powder, and then two parts paprika. Once you get all that stuff in there, we're gonna combine all these ingredients just using our hands and knead it together. Okay. All right, now that we've got our beef mixed together, we're going to make these into, uh, I'm going to do four even patties, all right? It's one pound, so each patty is going to be about four ounces each of beef, plus whatever bacon you put in there. And when you're making these, I suggest making a little dent in the center. Just make it a little bit thinner in the center, because when you cook burgers, they tend to uh, thicken up in the center. It's just the way the meat works. It kind of comes together in the center. And if you don't give it this dent, to make them flat, what most people end up doing is they press it down with their spatula, and that pushes all the juices out of the beef. You don't want to do that. You want to keep the juices in. So we got the burgers ready. The pan is clearly ready because it's smoking over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw them on. Give a little bit of space so you don't want to have them touching each other. Boom. Oh, or oh, splash. All right. Now we're going to let these sit for uh, three to four minutes. As these burgers are cooking, guys, well, like I said, the grass-fed meat tends to be a little bit drier. So what I like to do is I take a spoon, and I grab the grease that accumulates in the bacon and the beef, and I just pour it over the burgers as they cook. Keep them nice and moist. Okay. It does wonders for the flavor at the end of this. Okay, these bad boys look like they're ready to come off. Last thing to do is plate them up. There you have it, Cave Nation. Bunless Bacon Burgers. Bunless, 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 Bunless Bacon Burgers. Bunless Bacon Burgers. Bunless Bacon Burgers. I guess I started again. I'm speaking too fast. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm counting. Uh, you gotta stop, or else I'm not gonna stop. You're up. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to Caveman Cooking. I'm your host, Craig Parcells. Hey, Cave Nation. Welcome back to Cave. Hey, Cave Nation. Welcome to Caveman Cooking. I'm your host, Craig Parcells. My director is laughing his ass off right now. I have no goddamn chance. 